My farmland is about four hectares. The land that I farm provides my support. It's the source of food and wealth for me and my children. As the soil was getting poorer, I also became poor. The problem of land loss and degradation has not been much in the limelight of public attention, but has become a severe global challenge nevertheless. The importance of the soil for our existence, to ensure that we can eat and drink, is truly outstanding. And given that the world population is growing, it's becoming more and more important for us to preserve soil. This scarce resource that cannot be expanded and try to improve it. Land degradation is caused by several main drivers and it differs from region to region. In industrialized and emerging economies, land degradation often consists of soil sealing and the contamination of groundwater with pesticides and fertilizers. In other places, it is the removal of vegetation cover, either in the form of deforestation or overgrazing. Land Degradation Neutrality, abbreviated LDN, describes a world in which no land is lost to degradation at the bottom line. To achieve this, provident planning is key. The objective is to avoid degradation in the first place. When an intended land use has the potential to degrade the land, measures to avoid and reduce the anticipated degradation are planned and implemented. Partial degradation that cannot totally be avoided is then compensated by restoration and rehabilitation. Ideally, the resulting neutrality brings land use into balance, so that in net terms, any new degradation will be counterbalanced with the reversal of past degradation. Because land degradation neutrality is an ongoing steering mechanism that requires the right mix of actions, a continuous planning, monitoring and adjustment process is needed. The beauty of land degradation neutrality, but also the complexity of it is, if we do that right, if we have the conservation planners, the municipal planners, the urban planners all in the same room, thinking about optimization, then we ought to be able to get the best economic performance, the best environmental positive impacts, the best approach for food security, all in one. Exactly this type of intersectoral process is now implemented in Costa Rica on the basis of a presidential decree from the year 2017. Under the guidance of the National Advisory Commission on Land Degradation, CADETI, Representatives from different ministries and their related institutions jointly work to improve their institutional strategies and planning instruments in order to prevent land degradation. In Benin, located between Nigeria and Togo in Western Africa, the current challenge is to upscale the use of sustainable soil management practices throughout the entire country, as declining fertility of the land poses a great problem to mostly smallholder farmers. The teaching in our universities and in agricultural colleges does not cover enough soil fertility restoration techniques adequate to the current conditions and the farmer's resources. So we train technicians who in turn provide advisory support to farmers we coach them to ensure that the measures are well implemented in the fields. What has changed in the way I work the land? I use soil improvers, like mucuna. I apply crop rotation, like growing maize, followed by beans. LDN is not only relevant for countries that mainly rely on agriculture. Industrialized nations like Germany also need to pay great attention to the issue. On the one hand, it's extremely important that we do our homework at home. The coalition, in its coalition agreement, resolved to reduce soil sealing. At present, this amounts to 65 hectares per day in Germany, the equivalent of one football pitch every 20 minutes. 
But Germany is also actively committed at an international and especially a multilateral level through the United Nations. The long-term success depends on the political will to enforce LDN through coordination between institutions as it is done in Costa Rica and on the commitment of people like Fama Amaji and Rosalie Jedouin who make the difference by changing land use patterns practically on the ground. On behalf of future generations, all involved parties need to combine their efforts to preserve the land. There will always be conflicts of interest, but with the concept of land degradation neutrality, we have a mechanism to come up with intelligent solutions serving the very basis of our life, one step at a time.